Hi friends, welcome to today's class. So today's question is, two trains 121 meters and 99 meters in length respectively are running in same directions, one at the rate of 40 km per hour and other at the rate of 32 km per hour. In what time will they be completely clear of each other from the moment they meet? Or what is the time taken by the two trains to cross each other completely? So what's the given question? There are two trains, the lengths of the two trains are given, the speeds of the two trains are given, the directions in which they are moving is given and you have to find out when, how much time will be taken for the two trains to cross each other completely. This is also a very common kind of question asked in competitive exams. So you need not be confused or uh, you can practice here how to do these kind of problems. So two trains, the length of the two trains are given and the speeds of the two trains are also given. So time is equal to distance by speed. So that is the point here. Just, just we have to apply the formula time is equal to distance by speed. And what will be the total distance travelled? The two trains have to cross each other completely. So the total distance travelled will be equal to the length of the first train plus length of the second train. You have to add the lengths of the two trains in order to get the total distance. And what about the speed? Speed you have to take the concept of relative speed. The two trains are moving. The speeds of both the trains are given. So if the two trains are moving, <coughs> sorry, if the two trains are moving in the same direction, you have to subtract or you have to take the difference of the speeds and if the two trains are moving in the opposite directions the speeds of the trains should be added up so that is the only concept here so here what will be the distance distance will be equal to the sum of the lengths of the two trains so 121 plus 99 which gives you 220 meter and what about the speed as i told you have to take the relative speed so relative speed and if it here it is given they are running in the same direction so you have to take the difference so 40 minus 32 is equal to 8 km per hour which is equal to 8 into 5 by 18 meter per second so what is time time will be equal to 220 divided by 8 into 5 by 18 so what you be, what you will be getting 5 and 220 you can cancel out here you will be getting 44 and uh, here you will be getting 4 and 9 you will be getting here. So 11 will come here. So your final answer will be 99 seconds. So the two trains will be taking 99 seconds to cross each other completely. Now second question. Two trains 121 meters and 99 meters in length respectively are running in opposite directions. One at the rate of 40 km per hour and the other at the rate of 32 km per hour. In what time will they be completely clear of each other from the moment they meet? The same question as before. Here the only difference is the trains are running in opposite directions. So what will be the difference? The speed will be different here. Here also time we have to find out. So time is equal to distance by speed. And what is the distance? Distance will be the sum of the lengths of the two trains so this is a very common kind of question that's why we are discussing here it's a very simple question when the two trains are moving the lengths of the two trains are given the speeds of the two trains are given how much time will they take to cross each other so the total distance will be equal to the sum of the lengths of the trains and speed you have to take the relative speed here distance will be equal to sum of the length which is equal to 121 plus 99 which is equal to 220 meter and what about the speed you have to consider the relative speed and they are running in opposite directions so the speed will be getting added so it will be 72 kilometer per hour so you can find out time time is equal to distance by speed so it will be 220 divided by 72 into 5 by 18 so 18 fours are 72 so 5 into 4 is equal to 20 220 divided by 20 so it will be 22 divided by 2 which gives you 11 seconds so when they are moving in opposite directions they take only 11 seconds to cross each other but when they are moving in the same direction 99 seconds will be taken for the trains to be completely clear of each other. Now one more question. 
Two trains of equal lengths running in opposite directions pass a pole in 18 and 12 seconds. Find the time taken for the trains to cross each other. So here we are having only one number or one information is only given. Okay, one thing is the two trains are of equal length. The length of the two trains are equal. So length of first train will be equal to the length of second train. So that is the first information given. And there is no mention about the speed of the trains. Now it is given the train, the first train is passing a pole in 18 seconds and the second train is passing the same pole in 12 seconds. If that is the case, how long will the two trains take to cross each other? So here in order to find out the time taken for the trains to cross each other, you should know the distance travelled and you should know the speed of the train also. But here you are not having that information. So how to find out? So let we can tell let the length of the first train is equal to length of the second train is equal to L. We don't know what is the length so we are taking it as L. So what is the speed of the first train? Speed of first train will be equal to distance by the, it is passing a pole in 18 seconds. So the first train is passing a stationary object in 18 seconds. So the speed of the first train will be equal to distance by time. So it will be L by 18. And what about our second train? The speed of the second train will be similarly L by 12. So now it is a time to write our formula. Time is equal to distance by time. And they are running in opposite directions. Distance by speed. Sorry. Time is equal to distance by speed. And the two trains are running in opposite directions. So the speeds will be getting added up. And what is the total distance? Total distance is equal to length of the first train plus length of the second train which gives you L plus L divided by what about speed? It will be L by 18 plus L by 12. So totally it will be 2L divided by L plus 18 plus L by 12. So what is our LCM here? It will be 36. So 36 if you are bringing to the numerator 2L into 36 divided by 18 2s are 36. So here 2L will come here 3L will come. So total 5L. So 2 by 5 into 36 which gives you 7.2 into 2 is equal to 14.4 seconds. So that is the answer. So you need not even know the speeds of the trains in order to find out the time taken by the trains to cross each other. Here we had another information the time taken by first train to cross a stationary pole and the time taken by the second train to cross the stationary pole. So using that information we can, we can easily find out the speeds and we can write, out, write down the formula for distance by speed and you can find out the time. Thank you for watching.